On The Breakfast, as Nigeria celebrates Children's Day today, data shows that no fewer than 1,436 school children have been abducted in Nigeria, mainly in the northern, not central part and northwest in the last two years, with 11,536 schools shot down. In all of this, where is Lye Shaibu? Also on The Breakfast, we take a look at the proposed initiative to promote and develop tunneling and underground spaces in Nigeria as in developed climes. Don't forget, we'll also be looking at the pages of our national dailies and analyzing the big stories of the day. Welcome to The Breakfast Beautiful Friday Morning and happy Children's Day to all of the fantastic, great children and kid, uh, okay, if I say kid now, great children in Nigeria, we wish you the very best right here. Uh, we start off the conversation as always with conversations generating uh, reactions in different spaces. But just before then, I am Messi Ebobo. All right, so uh, this is video that's making the rounds of the wife of the governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bello, Rashid Bello, gifting aids one million naira each. I wish we could actually have an audio, you know, to that effect and, uh, you know, to that action that you're seeing right now on the script where you can see, okay. millionaire age very exciting uh, for this aids of course you can see that they have their uniforms on and they are super excited a lot of reaction has generated has been generated as res as a result of this uh, uh, gift has been put out by Rashid Bello uh, the wife of the Kogi state governor and some people have said it's a state where they're grappling with paying salaries and uh, even though you have the labor uh, organized labor in the state talking about salaries not being paid and then the government responding that we're not owing and if anyone has any evidence then they should come out and put it out so it, it's a lot going on I, I don't know what to say I mean can't you see that these officers are very happy uh, should should we take out their happiness it, it's it's just you know very very difficult to see but some other persons are saying that it's also a time where um, you have the elections ahead of us, 2023, and there's a lot of money that will be splashed. It might just be one of it. And some people are querying, uh, you know, how much was actually put out there. Uh, what is, you know, the source of all of this money? And how, how do we get to that point? Especially if you say it's a state that's struggling, you know, to pay workers' salary. And sal uh, workers are not earning enough. And then you see all of that. But, I mean, mixed reaction, mixed uh, feelings right there. One can actually not know what to say at this point in time. But away from, you know, Yahaya Bello's wife and, you know, the gift of one millionaire to the AIDS, uh, we look at the uncertainty over Banky W's victory. And I'm sure that we have, you know, that um, video to put out there.
So, so that's a that's a video of uh, Banky W's victory uh, when you had the PDP having uh, their primaries as um, you know to select who becomes a flag bearer for the House of Representatives. We're talking about the TOC at this point. It was something that was commended. I mean, celebration in different spaces. In in real time, you could see that celebration, and also. On social media, you could also see that celebration. But yesterday, he took a different, um, you know, turn when uh, was saying that you know the result is different, and then he had seven, uh, according to you know the, the pictures made available or the uh, uh, records that you have right there. But how do you explain the fact that uh, there was a count? I mean, you had a proper count that was recorded, and you can actually see that. But People are saying that, well, uh, Banky W should appeal that situation if he feels that he has been deprived of it. It tells a lot. I think that a lot would actually unfold as we get to 2023. And still on top trending, we look at the Lagos APC disqualifies a Cuba primary candidates. And so that's also um, a lot of reaction, a lot of reactions have been generated from that particular one. And that's because some people are saying, why do you have a situation as this? A situation where it could have been avoided even before the primaries. Well, that's so much we can take this morning on Top Trending. We'll definitely step on the brakes. When we return, it will be time for us to look at the front pages of our national dailies. Please stay with us. <laughs>